Welcome back to Ben Whip This Up. Um, we're doing pasta today. We're doing pasta and chicken. I think this is called Marry Me Chicken. It's not Alfredo. It has a slight Alfredo twist on it, but we just really threw what we had together. Onions, garlic, tomato paste, single cream. If you want heavy cream, do heavy cream, but we don't do heavy cream around here because it's just not the vibe. I'm not lactose intolerant. I just don't really enjoy milk in that much proportion. I love cheese, but I don't love it like that. So I went with single, but you can adjust it if you want it even creamier but i'd say what i did turned out creamy and i'm happy with it okay and this is just a preview so right we're gonna get into it but before we do remember to like comment and share when the video is done let me know your thoughts it i, I don't buy it just say something if you will all right so we are going to start by boiling our water and salting it but today we're doing something different we're not only salting it because the pasta is going to be the base and we're not infusing it in the sauce when it's done so we're going to season the pasta with some chicken stock don't go heavy handed just a little bit to elevate the regular pasta flavor because we're doing a chicken pasta so why not so we de season that with a little bit of oil olive oil if you want to be healthy and add some parsley in there to make it look pretty right so after you've done that, you're going to let that boil and like cook according to package instructions. Cook your pasta according to package instructions. I personally like my pasta more on the soft side. I like al dente when I'm going to cook it even more. But if I'm going to chew it, I want it melt in your mouth. So that's how I cook mine. And I'm tasting and it's not done enough. So we give it a few more minutes. You can't go wrong with pasta. Just keep checking as you cook, right? Cooking, you're going to strain that and you're going to reserve some of the juices for later on for the sauce. Um, and to season our chicken, we're doing boneless chicken thighs. I bought them and deboned them myself because that's cheaper. Or if you wanna go the quick route, just get them deboned. I wouldn't use chicken breast here because it's gonna get dry. But if you want to cook this in a rush, definitely use chicken breast, right? So we did some onion powder, garlic powder, some chili powder, all purpose seasoning, some olive oil and some black pepper. We're not going heavy handed on it today because we want a simple dish. You're gonna rub that in and let that sit for hour, as much time as you have but because you're pan frying and the seasoning is directly onto it and the chicken thighs are relatively thin it's gonna get seasoned so you don't really need to let it sit for long so this works for a quick weeknight dinner as well so once that's seasoned you're gonna get a skillet or a frying pan in my case and put in a healthy kind of oil i've heard peanut oil is healthy avocado oil is healthy but i used olive today and if not if you don't really if you're not too fast you can just use sunflower or vegetable oil that works as well so you're gonna lay them on the side which would have had the skin on right you're gonna lay that side on down first and you're gonna cook this on your high heat we're trying to retain the juices we don't want anything to escape from the chicken but we also want it to cook through and when you're cooking your chicken you need to press it down so it makes contact fully with the surface of the frying pan right because chicken is not symmetrically smooth so if you don't do that some parts will not be as cooked or some parts will get less cook time so as you can see i'm pushing it on so there is contact and interaction so that everything can cook through and through and don't worry about the oil that's in the frying pan we're going to strain that once that's done or oh, and plus i had more chicken pieces to cook and now we're gonna start with our sauce you're going to finely dice some onions and garlic very fine as much as you prefer it i like chunks of onions so this is the size that i went in for so i put the oil in there heated up my frying pan i put in my sliced or diced onions along with my garlic i didn't wait and i let that caramelize a bit with as little oil as possible because we're making a sauce and it doesn't really need to be greasy and the chicken is already greasy so we're watching our carbs and we're watching our oil and carbohydrate carbohydrates and cholesterol as we cook so once that caramelizes down for a bit and also here's a tip to help your things caramelize when it starts getting dry in the wok or the frying pan you can add a bit of water it will help release the juices and caramelize quicker so now we go in with some tomato paste as much as you want i ended up having to use only half of this mixture before adding in my milk because it would have been too tomato -y. I wasn't trying to lean towards that side today I was leaning towards the milky creamy side of pasta so I put the tomato puree in and no extra oil you let that toast for a minute or two and then you go in with your single cream heavy cream or even double cream baby it's how you want it I wanted it slim I didn't want it thick because as I said I like milk but I can't do too much more I just don't enjoy the creaminess in a cooked dish in a porridge in a cereal please give me all the milk you can but not in a, something that's warm it just doesn't really work well for me all right so we're gonna mix that in and look how smooth and luscious and beautiful it looks at this point and i like to season my things 
to my preference someone will say this is seasoned enough and it only needs black pepper garlic powder and salt and i agree with them i am so happy for you to do that but for me for me i need to go in with some chicken stock because i love the flavor that chicken broth brings to this dish not only does it loosen and lighten it up it brightens up the flavor and this is homemade chicken stock so i know what's in there it's my own chicken stock right and it just i don't even need to add any more all-purpose seasoning because it has everything i need in there so two tablespoons of chicken stock did it for me and just a little bit of some more chicken seasoning or extra hot chili powder because i want a bit of spice in there i like my things to have some people like to say that they like their food to hurt but that's not me i just want the food to be nice i want to enjoy it and i've grown up eating spicy food so i don't enjoy dishes that don't have spice when they could have spice do you get what i mean like i respect dishes which are not supposed to have spice something like a beef burger doesn't have spice i'm low-key okay with it but i'm also kind of curious what would happen if i just put a bit more spice in there that's that's how i feel i just enjoy the flavor it brings so we go out with some pink himalayan salt yeah you can use regular salt as well but we're watching our health over here and as i'm growing older i'm learning to invest in products that work for me things that might be slightly more expensive but healthier like lately i've been buying more fruits and i've noticed that fruits aren't as cheap as they used to be right and it's easier to buy processed foods because i'm like okay that's in a bunch but the healthy stuff they can kind of be pricey but your health is worth it if you were to be in a bad condition you would pay as much money as you possibly could to get well so why not do it before you get there and you don't even need to get there if you eat right and now we're going to drizzle that beautiful thickened sauce this is called marry me pasta it's an american dish actually americanized because you know the americans they don't really own anything they just take everything and do what they want to it puts lots of cheese and cream and milk and sauce in there so i kind of followed them and here we have a beautiful pasta dish garnished with some parsley and that chicken is cooked through it is juicy it is moist but it's nice okay so love to you all and i'll see you in the next one i hope you remember to leave a comment or your thoughts even if it's like a smiley face just do something interact um i will see you in the next one hopefully this has been a good episode and you've enjoyed it so share this video like comment and subscribe so in a bit people in a bit let's go